Cooler weather could finally be heading toward California. It could be a much needed break. No charges will ever be filed in the death of Lucas Hernandez. The DA says the boy's stepmother, now dead, was the only suspect in the boy's death. In Florida, investigators are trying to figure out what caused a building to partially collapse. Take a look at this video. You can see how part of that wall just completely came off. Months later, this intersection is back to normal, but Donald Clark's condition is not. His attorneys say the problem isn't with the department and its policies. It's simply with the man who hit him. But there's a really interesting part of the Cohen case that you're going to hear a lot about in the coming days, and that is that in the middle of it, he admitted to working at the direction of then-candidate Donald Trump and the National Enquirer to silence Karen McDougal. He also admitted to a payment to Stormy Daniels that he made, and this was a direct quote from court, with and at direction of the same candidate. Thieves didn't just take cash from an ATM. They actually took the entire ATM from a Wichita business overnight. Police have basically been telling anybody trying to get in to just go around because they're not letting anybody through right now. All of this has to do with what's going on right now in this apartment complex. If you saw some smoke in southwest Wichita today, don't worry. It's part of a controlled burn from the Parks and Rec Department. And this is the definition of too close to call, Deb. Three tenths of one percent. Mail-in ballots have to be into the elections offices by Friday. They will be counted and verified, something called canvassing. This this is going to be a story, I mean, for just days to come. Political junkies are excited and thrilled, but in all honesty, I mean, these numbers are going to change. Slick roads from the rain over the weekend caused a crash that killed a Stafford man last night. Safety, safety first. first. you got to be safety Ooh. first. If you notice, oh, jinx. That was chemistry. <laughs> you know, a small single engine plane crashed in Comanche County this afternoon. West Nile virus could be making a pretty big comeback this summer. President Trump's former lawyer says he has recorded a conversation that took place while the president was running for office. Thousands packed Century 2 this afternoon, not only to hear from a Kansas congressional candidate, James Thompson, but Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. If your family needs something to do in town this weekend, there is plenty to do as Wichita turns 148 tomorrow. During the summer, most kids are outside playing, swimming, or camping, but one New York boy is out on tour with the band at just four years old. Police say that that suspected gunman who opened fire on those deputies in their own sheriff's office is dead. He wasn't even caught until a high-speed chase across several counties. They have to surrender uh, control of the investigation. They most oftentimes always want to, um, considering the personal the personal relationship to that and he was I mean I got chills when he said you know this you always think this won't happen in a place like this but it has more disturbing news out of the Catholic Church today Pope Francis is now accused of turning a blind eye to sex abuse those accusations are coming from his own Archbishop that church leader says he told the Pope about suspicions of a serial predator priest months ago new details this afternoon about the late Senator John McCain how he will be remembered in Arizona and in Washington yeah. this video into the newsroom that is the vehicle right there and you can see all all of these officers who are going to be going on behind him. And that was just one moment of a really scary situation that happened just south of the Nebraska border. All right, so it's technically not for another month, but people who are ready for fall now, go ahead and start early. Yeah, start. I'm just going to say it to be the guy that says it. I don't think they taste that good. That's what? Right. Oh, wow. The, wow, I just got like <laughs> death <laughs> players. Okay, no, um, I sorry. Like, I, I like a lot of coffees. I just, yeah. I don't get it. Aww. This is the best day ever. I, I've never seen every single person in this studio glued to a, the nearest uh, TV screen. It was almost too cute to bear. 20 minutes later, the joke is still funny, and we still have 10 seconds to fill. So with that, we're going to be more back with more a great video Quality coming up. Quality chat time. Oh. People say here, if it weren't for the early warnings on their cell phones or their television sets, they may not have gotten out of it alive. Rain and hail poured down, covering the streets of Joaquini, and left its heavy mark on everything outside. And we had all that hail, and I'm, it sounded like the roof was going to cave in on us, literally. Crumpled car after crumpled car at a convenience store off of I-70. My husband texted me and said, are you sure your car is totaled? I said, uh, well, I'll let you look when you get here and see what you bring. Go back here because it was the safest place. The general manager heard the warnings, so she crammed customers in the bathrooms. I had to keep checking because people kept coming to the doors and I had to keep coming out and one people came that had a baby and right in the middle of all that. Even sending some of them for shelter in the cooler. We stayed there and just tried to keep people calm. It was frightening. Further into town, it gets worse. Entire piles of limbs and debris at least six feet high. And in some cases, entire buildings were lifted off the ground. 
Two sheds are in Ross Jamison's backyard. One of them still standing with a two by four in the side. I've never seen this type of destruction before. The second shed blew in from his neighbor's yard one block away. Uh, if that shed would have hit me in the car, I'd, I'd probably be gone. Yep. There's no confirmation of a tornado, but residents here are left to wonder and be thankful. We have a warm bed to sleep in tonight and our power's back on, so we're we're fortunate. Truthfully, I'm just very thankful that I was inside. Thankful they survived one of the worst storms they say they've ever seen. We know several people in the area suffered minor injuries, cuts, scrapes, a few things along those lines. Emergency officials haven't been able to give us any more details than that as of right now. We've also seen a lot of roofing companies coming in here today because of all the damage that we've mentioned. It is going to take days, if not weeks or longer for the people here to recover from these storms. Things got even worse when she thought he was reaching in his pockets to grab a gun. That's when she pulled hers out. The guy we found you working on our shit. What started hey, as a search hey. for their stolen cars and stole our trucks out of the driveway last night led to a tense confrontation with guns drawn in the yard of a so-called chop shop where cars are stripped and their parts resold. Some dude is working on your stolen vehicle. He reaches for his pocket. I'm not going to be a victim a second time. Nina Smith was seen in this Facebook Live taken by her husband pointing her gun while a stranger was working on one of her stolen cars. The day before, she and her husband realized two of her vehicles were stolen after coming home from a trip. I was upset with the, when the Yukon. I, I just put a lot of money into that truck. I, it has a brand new motor in it. You know, I put a lot of time into that truck. I love that truck. I was upset. But when the Dodge came missing, now that truck has more sentimental value to me. She then remembered a post on Facebook from a month before and tracked down the address, thinking maybe her truck was there. And that led to this moment. Kidding me? A day later, plenty of vehicles were still in a fenced in yard at that address, but no one inside Hello. would speak to us. My name's Greg Miller. I'm with Cake News. We're here after a police report about some stolen vehicles on the property. I don't know why nobody here. Was there, but there was an incident. The owner is not here. But there was an incident here yesterday. I don't know. And the owner is not here. The owner is not here? No. Okay. So you, you guys can do nothing. Do you know when they come back? Police tell us a 38 year old woman was arrested for and booked on four counts of criminal deprivation of a vehicle. Each of them a separate stolen car. With more than 1,500 reports this year alone, Smith admits her reaction was not safe. It could have been way worse. It was literally, yeah, it was literally just adrenaline. But hopes more thieves will think twice before ever trying to take a car again. Smith and her husband were both interviewed by police, but they were released and never charged with anything. They do have the paperwork to carry the guns that they had. Police say their investigation into this is not over yet. In studio, Greg Miller, Cake News on your side.